How's it going? Kingsley here. So in this video today I'm going to show you how I solved the problem relating to Windows installer package. This problem was persistent with the .msi file for a Google Chrome remote desktop. As you can see here it says there is a problem with this Windows installer package. A DLL required for this install could not be run. So step one, what you need to do is locate your account's username and enable hidden files. Now do bear in mind this name here is not your username. So to locate your username what you want to do is press the Windows key and the letter R to open the run command then type in netplwiz and OK. As you can see there's a list of all the usernames on the PC but to locate yours you want to click the properties section and it should just show your username. So the next thing to do is enable hidden files. What you want to do is open the run command again and type in control folders. Once this opens you need to go over to the view section just at the top. Then locate hidden files and folders. Then select show hidden files. Now obviously some of you might have this enabled already but if you haven't just uh, make sure you select show hidden files and then press OK. And now we'll move on to the final step which is fixing the problem. So what you want to do next is press the Windows key and the letter E to open your file explorer. Go into your C drive then go to users then go to your name for your account then app data. Now as you can see app data is a little bit highlighted that's because it's a hidden file. Then go to local and then the next thing you need to do is go to temp then right click on temp folder properties then security and then what you want to do is go to edit then add then advanced and then find now now all you need to do is locate the username that you previously found then press OK and then OK again and this time select full control and OK. Now uh, just ignore this message and keep pressing continue until all of them have cleared. It's not a big issue at all, it's not even an issue, just keep pressing continue. Now we'll go back and check it and as you can see my username is on full control. So press OK. And then this time try and run the .msi file or the program that you ran to, um, that was giving you this error. As you can see it's working for me. And if I go back to Google Chrome Remote Desktop, it says in, um, remote connection for this computer has been enabled. So um, if you're getting this issue with any other software or installer package, just um, try this method and see if it works for you.